and Jenny with Show Me Cute. This week I am back with another DIY project for you. This is an excellent birthday card or postcard idea that I cannot wait to show you. So let's get started. Okay, for this project, you need a utility sponge, which is best found in a hardware store, a serrated knife, some spray paint, and my favorite and most realistic looking cake colors were the pink and the brown. You need cardstock, a razor blade or an exacto knife, some spray adhesive, a sharpie, some scissors, and a knife or a spatula, and a frosting bag. But if you don't have that, you can also use a Ziploc bag. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is take your ruler and your marker, and you're gonna make some guidelines for yourself, and then just take the knife and cut your sponge in half. Next, you're gonna take your ruler and your marker and you're gonna draw some lines down the middle of your wedge and you're gonna cut that out just a little bit with your razor. And what that's gonna do is make a spot for the frosting going down the middle of your slice of cake. So you're gonna razor that down and then take your scissors and cut out a chunk in the middle. This next step I couldn't show you, but you're gonna take your spray paint and go out to your garage and give a couple of coats of generous paint so that your sponge now looks like nice moist cake. Our next step is making our postcard. I just measured my piece of cake and then took my cardstock and cut that out and then cut around the edges so that it fit just right. Next, you're gonna go back out to your garage and take your spray adhesive and attach your postcard to the back of your piece of cake. The last thing we're gonna do is decorate our slice of cake. I have taken my caulking and already added it to my plastic bag. I'm using a decorator tip here, but if you don't have one of those and don't know how to use one, you can just, um, squeeze out of your bag and smooth your frosting on with a spatula and so if you'll watch I'm just piping on some little rows if you don't know how to do that you can just practice on a piece of paper first and then the last thing I'm gonna do is add some cute little sprinkles and we have an adorable big fat slice of strawberry birthday cake Okay, I wanted to ask you guys if you want to leave your birthday and why you would like to receive a birthday postcard in the mail, in the comment section below, I'm gonna be picking a few and mailing them out so you guys can see what these slices of cake actually look like once they've gone through the mail. So leave that information in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next week. Bye.